Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Hi guys and welcome and welcome back to the channel Karibuna Sana So ever since I started making videos about clinical medicine Sharing information about the cause, uh, the requirements And what do you necessarily do in school while, you, while you're studying for these causes I've been getting a lot of questions around clinical medicine, pharmacy, MBCHB, nursing And other healthcare related causes and professions but one consistent question that has been recurring on the channel is how does one go from being a clinical officer to a medical officer and that is what we're going to be answering in today's video i know this video is going to shake a few feathers but the reality of the matter is that from if you want to become a medical officer while being a clinical officer you have the system has it that you have to start again from zero and zero i mean like you have to start again from the process of application you have to go again to the process from starting from year one all the way to year six or year five depending on the institution you go to and i'm saying depending on the institution that you go to because in kenya we are accustomed to the six years but in reality on the ground you should really be counting seven because of a lot of the discrepancies that happen in between the six year duration and if you're lucky enough you can go away with those six years but if reality hits and like kenya continues being kenya you are going to spend a little bit more than those six years so six years for the kenyan student and five years again depending on the university that you go to because i do understand that outside kenya there are universities offering the mbchb degree at a five-year duration course and i think others in tanzania and uganda as well are offering the course along the similar duration period now that is how long it's going to take you from being a clinical officer to a medical officer now this i'm not putting into consideration the amount of time you are going to spend as a clinical officer and i'm assuming this is someone who has just come from doing clinical medicine and they directly want to go into mbchp that is the amount of time it's going to take them because they're just going to do the six years or like the five years of the education and then progress with their career after that now what are the requirements? The requirements, if you've done clinical medicine, whether a diploma or a degree, you are automatically qualified to get to do the MBCHP degree. But what I would like to put as a disclaimer is that if you go onto the website of these institutions, and when I say institutions for future reference in this video, I'm going to be referring to the Kenyan institutions because there is uh, what I've used to research about this video, you'll find that despite them stating that you need to have come from a healthcare or a science background in terms of your undergraduate degree or diploma, you need to have really, really done well in this exam. So just the virtue of you having the degree or the diploma doesn't necessarily put you at a position of being accepted into the program. You need to have really, really done well. Well, I don't know how they are going to, for example, if I wanted to apply to MBCHP again, <laughs> I don't know how they are going to gauge me from my degree because again in medicine we don't have the grading that we have in other schools in the university like for example if someone is coming from the school of science and technology i and for me who is coming from the school of medicine our degrees are going to read differently of course by virtue of whatever we did in university but the grading system is going to be different now that is something i really really like to explore and see how they're going to look at it maybe maybe apply and see now uh, the other thing is what are the implications after finishing the degree mbchp degree what are the implications number one of course before you became a clinical officer a registered clinical officer you have to you must have done your internship and this means even for the doctors the mo's who are currently practicing they must have done their internship after school which means you are going to redo the internship process now as a medical officer intern not as a ceo intern and there's somewhere i read before i even forget about this there's somewhere i read about when i was researching about this video by virtue of you having the mbchp degree and being a medical officer being a doctor afterwards you are automatically i would say disqualified from being a clinical officer like you cannot be registered by two 
bodies at the same time i don't know if i don't know where i really got this information from but i'm pretty sure i read about it online or someone from the senior board members in the clinical officers council mentioned it in a meeting that i attended somewhere but um that is another implication that you're going to have you are not going to be registered by two bodies i was having a conversation with one pharmacist um about this particular issue and what they told me about um they're, they're, they're a pharmacist and they wanted to do clinical medicine and they want they told me that they would still be registered with the ppb and they will still be under the clinical officers council i don't know how that really works if someone has information about that please let us know in the comment section down below but what i'm really going to do is that i'm going to look further into it and most likely come back with information about it so that means you have to go and do internship all over again now as a medical officer and like i just said not as a clinical officer and number two is that you will be entering a different job group as well and that is pretty much straightforward understanding the current situation about the pay and everything if you've been following up on whatever has been happening in the country about the interns pay you do understand that medical officer interns and clinical officer interns are getting different kind of salary compensations and that is by virtue of their degrees as well. And number three, in terms of the implications you're going to have after finishing your MBCHP degree, is that you are going to have a different career progression. Now, I would like to point out a few things before some someone picks this as misinformation, but what I would really like to say is that there are a few things that you can do well, not really a few, but there are things that you can do with your degree as a clinical officer that someone with an MBCHP degree can also do as well. I think where the line is particularly drawn is in the Masters of Medicine, the MMED, that medical officers do to become consultants. I think there is where the line is drawn, but for most Masters programs, I don't really think you are limited to do them by virtue of you having a degree. Do you guys understand? Like you cannot do a master's in medicine because you don't have a bachelor's in medicine, but you can do a master's in public health, you can do a master's in endocrinology, you can do a master's in child health, you can do a master's in something that is there as a master's degree, I think you can do it. And I don't really think there is a line drawn to it. I, again, this is information that I'm giving based on the research that I've done. And I would really, really like to know if there is at all any master's program that requires you to have done MBCHP aside from the MMED and I'm going to do my further research about it and I'm going to report back but as far as today is concerned as far as the time you're watching this video is concerned what I'm aware of is the line is drawn at the MMED program and if at all there's another master's program that someone with a BSc clinical medicine cannot do then I'm going to report back and tell you guys and then now on the career progression again you can be able to do an MMED and what this has as an implication is that you are able to become a consultant and you in whatever specialty you choose of course the MMED you're going to do you after finishing that and after graduating from that you automatically you are on the path of becoming a consultant of course like the names change from your level of training from being a medical officer to being a resident stroke a registrar to being a senior resident chief resident and then you're a consultant afterwards so that again is another implication you're going to have after you finish your mbchp degree as a clinical officer that you are you've opened doors to not just the master's programs that were available to you with your degree in clinical medicine but you have opened another door where you can do the MMED programs and become a consultant in whatever specialty that you choose. And that is pretty much it, aside from the job titles that already changed from being a CO, you become an MO, of course, for clinical officer to medical officer, another word for medical officers and doctors. So after finishing your MBCHP degree, you become a doctor by virtue of you having the degree as well, and people can address you as doctor so and so, officially that is. 
So yes, that is all we have to discuss today about this particular topic. And to put it in very basic terms is that if you are a clinical officer and you want to go ahead and be a medical officer, you have to start again from level one, from year one, to finish up with the MBCHP degree is where you will become a medical officer afterwards. And there are a few efforts that people have been putting into creating a program where BSc clinical officers are able to get into the MBCHB program at an advanced stage. And that, those are things that are still in the early phase and probably in the near future I'll come back and report on where the efforts are have reached and what is the progress on that particular line of career progression. Well, if you are interested to know more about the degree in clinical medicine, the differences between the degree and the diploma, be sure to check out the playlist I will have linked above and in the description down below. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you have any questions or like if you have any points that you want me to clarify further, please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you again for being here and I will see you guys in the next video. Salaam alaikum.